A comment that's been put to me on several occasions is people like my studio, and it's just dawned upon me that I've never actually done a studio tour. So, let's get serious. Welcome to my house of fun. I don't even know why I'm doing that, but welcome. This is my studio, and at the moment, I'm sat at my desk here. This is a custom-made desk. It was originally a butcher's block table. Yeah, I found the wood as a whole butcher's block thing on a metal framework on Facebook for about 70 pounds. So I went along and I saw the guy and I said, look, I don't want a metal, I just want the wood. And the small piece that I'm currently leaning on was actually the bottom shelf of it. And then the bigger piece over here was the top of it. And then the whole base is more or less made from pallet wood because I've just got this thing about pallet wood. Hmm. Okay, moving on. But what's up with that shelf behind you, I hear you say? Well, this is my stuff dumping shelf. It's a shelf unit that was made from steel tubes and a bit of scaffold board. I do everything on the cheap. I try not to do anything expensive where possible. It's not always easy with this, but I try. It's also the location where I store all these vintage looking cameras, which don't actually work, but they look quite nice on display. And then there's also some functional lenses up the top there. The next shelf down is more or less the same. And here I keep my Zipon slider and my keys. I can't play, but it just looks good. Over here's my Tascam Mixcast 4 mixer. It was the mixer that I got after the Rodecaster Pro because I just didn't really like the Rodecaster Pro and I quite like the Tascam and that's kind of been on my desk forever and a day now. And the mic I'm using is the Tascam... No, it's not. And the mic I'm using is the Rode Pod mic. It's the version 1, it's not the one with the USB, it's just the standard XLR that goes into the Tascam Mixcast mixer. And this is my Dell 34 inch widescreen curved monitor. Again, this was a second hand purchase off Facebook. I think I paid about £300 for that. Um, and when it was new, it was retailing at about six, £700 here in the UK. So I found that as a bit of a bargain. And it's mounted by a Duronic monitor stand. I've then got this, which is my Logitech keyboard. It's a bit of a vintage now, but it still works. And it's also the keyboard, incidentally, that I spilt a pint of lager over. Did another video about that, which you can, it's there somewhere, just in case you want to repair your keyboard. Good. When it comes to audio, I've got it covered. This is the Cambridge Audio Speaker. Again, a Facebook market purchase, which was mm, about £40 for a pair of speakers, which I didn't think was all that bad. And they are powered by this, an SMSL amplifier. It's a little diddy amplifier which has got Bluetooth, it's got optic fibre link in, it has an auxiliary link in, which also has an input from the Tascam to give me uh, studio quality sounds here in my studio. And this, well that's just a dock. This rather looking piece of wonderful artwork is a load of postcards from when I used to work in the music industry. Every single one of these artists at some point I did some promotional stuff for here in the UK. So that was quite an exciting thing in my past, but unfortunately the music industry went to and I lost my job. Great. And these here are some posters of some short films that I've worked on. And that's it. This is my little studio tour. It's only a small room. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Drop your comments if you want to drop a comment. And also, equally, if you're feeling ultra generous. Oh, sorry, I've got a dodgy knee. Subscribe. Subscribe. That's all you got to do.